Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. It's a busy day on the set of the new AMI original series, Fashion Dis, as the cast and crew are hard at work. All right, guys, roll and roll nice and quiet, please. The show tackles fashion challenges that people from the disability community face, something host Ardra Shepard is all too familiar with. In an ideal world, we wouldn't need a show that was specifically highlighting disability, but we're not there yet. You know, when we talk about diversity and we label off all the ways people can be diverse, disability is almost always still left off of that list, and that needs to change. We've been dissed by the fashion world. <laughs> dissed, I think, would be the best word. It was really a point of frustration for me as someone with an acquired disability to go from seeing myself marketed to you and included in the fashion and beauty world and then when I started to need mobility aids feel like I couldn't find images, style, coolness of people who looked like me who are going through the same kind of thing. Now armed with the knowledge and expert help Ardra is able to help participants from the community address their fashion challenges. So as the host of the show, it's my job to get to know the participants, who they are, what their style challenges have been. So um, for seated body types, there's gonna be issues of fit and cut, dexterity issues can impact how you apply makeup or you're able to do hair. It's all these things that you wouldn't necessarily consider. Um, so it's, it's my job to help our participants figure out the look they want to achieve and what the obstacles are for them to getting to that look. There are other aspects that help separate this show from other fashion-focused programs, as executive producer Kara Volchoff explains. Unlike her traditional makeover show, where you'd kind of pick apart the wardrobe and then you'd go through a hair and a makeup, we sort of, we structure the whole thing as prep for a photo shoot. So after our participants sit down with Ardra and we understand a little bit more about who they are and what they're looking for, then we move into our beauty circuit. So you have a makeup tutorial with Bella and then you have a hairstyle segment with Susan. And then you start to go into wardrobe specifics with Izzy Camilleri. And after all of that has been said and done, we put the whole look together and pay it off with a photo shoot. So for us, the payoff is not about showing it to other people. It's about actually looking at yourself. So we reveal our photo shoot with a life-sized image, the best one we feel from the bunch, um, so that they can really see themselves as we do and hopefully how they've always wanted to see themselves. For participant Claire Buchanan, this experience was completely new. <laughs> it was a little, I was a little nervous at, at the beginning. I haven't ever done something like that, but I ended up having so much fun with it. While she has enjoyed herself, she is also aware of the impact that this show can have. I hope that the general public just sees disabled people as anyone else. There's so many opportunities out there to shed light on the disabled community and what we do in our daily lives and, and kind of the barriers that we face in those daily lives. And it shows like this that put a spotlight on that. Kara understood the importance of doing right by the community while assembling the show's expert panel to find a group of people that was going to make sense for us to take us through this journey, they had to be experts that not only had the skill sets to create these high fashion looks, but the understanding and the relatability and the experience within the community. Fashion stylist and art director Melanie Lawrence jumped at the chance to be involved when Kara approached her about fashion discs. I have done styling for almost almost 10 years now. And um, there's an artificial sense to it sometimes where you're, you're doing wardrobe and it's just for looks. It's just to be on the best dress list. But for this, you know, uh, Kara, the, the producer, brought the idea to me and I was like, oh my gosh. This is something of substance. This is something where we can impact people. And I'm like, I'm, I'm down for it. Like, <laughs> I want to be a part of this. The eagerness extends to everyone involved in the show, especially Ardra. She gets as excited for the photos as the guests do, maybe even a bit more. 
This week was all about photo shoots and reveals, and I was saying to our producer that it feels like Christmas and my birthday, and my birthday's a big deal. Uh, so yeah, just to actually sit next to these participants and see them at the end of this journey, it's, it feels like an honor and a privilege for me. I feel humbled by it. The, the participants themselves are all so different and so interesting and they're just fantastic people and I really can't wait for the world to meet them. Fashion Dis will premiere in early 2022 on AMI-tv.